To test free and combined chlorine using FASDPD, first decide which drop equivalents to use. If you suspect the chlorine level is high, perhaps because the water has been shocked recently, use one drop equal to 0.5 parts per million and a 10 ml sample. This will save time and titrating reagent. If you do not know the chlorine level or you suspect it is low, use one drop equal to 0.2 parts per million and a 25 ml sample. This demonstration assumes the chlorine level is unknown. Rinse and fill the large comparator tube to the 25 ml mark with the water to be tested. Add two dippers of DPD powder. The scoop end of the dipper should be completely filled with the powder, but beyond this, a precise measurement is not necessary. Swirl until all the powder dissolves. If free chlorine is present, the sample will turn pink. If the pink color disappears, continue adding the DPD powder a dipper at a time, mixing between additions, until the sample turns pink again. Add reagent 871 for chlorine dropwise, swirling and counting after each drop until the sample goes from pink to colorless. Multiply the drops needed to make the color change by 0.2. Record the result as parts per million free chlorine. Add 5 drops of reagent 3. Swirl to mix. If combined chlorine is present, the sample will turn pink. Add FASDPD titrating reagent for chlorine dropwise swirling and counting after each drop until the sample goes from pink to colorless. Add one more drop of titrant after the endpoint to be certain the color change is permanent. If the color remains unchanged, do not count this drop. Multiply the drops expended in the previous step by 0.2 and record as parts per million combined chlorine. The FASDPD test for chlorine is also available in a standalone kit with either 3 quarter ounce or 2 ounce liquid reagents. The procedure is identical, except the tests are performed in the number 9198 sample tube instead of the number 9058 comparator block. If your sanitizer of choice is bromine, the FASDPD method can be used to determine total bromine too. The procedure is similar, but the drop equivalency is different. Namely, one drop is equal to 0.5 or 1.25 parts per million total bromine. You cannot use the FASDPD test for chlorine to determine bromine levels. Taylor's knowledgeable customer service representatives are available to provide technical assistance about our products. Call 800-TEST-KIT.